Hi everyone, Chris here with Blind Appeal. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, you probably clicked on this video from Blind Appeal because you're looking for window treatments that have a lot of curb appeal. That was really stupid. Anyways, there's not very many products out there that has as much curb appeal as plantation shutters. Uh, you'd be surprised to know that there's a lot of options for plantation shutters, so I'll go to those options here in just a second. Stay tuned. Why are plantation shutters so attractive? Well, simply put, they don't look like an aftermarket product. In fact, they look more like an upgrade to your home. It's just like crown molding, trim work, granite countertops. These things are look like they were in the original design of the house. There are two primary types of plantation shutters. There's composite and hardwood shutters. Composite shutters are less expensive from hardwood, about 20 to 25%. They're essentially a compressed PVC mix to mimic real wood. Uh, because they are vinyl, they work exceptionally well for places with a lot of moisture, such as bathrooms and kitchens. Hardwood shutters are more expensive, but for very good reason. Nothing can truly replace the authentic nature of wood. They are about 20 to 25% lighter than composite wood too, which translates to easier use and less sag over time. The gravity will always take its toll on shutters, and the lighter the shutter is, the longer it will take for sagging to occur. If you happen to live in the state of Idaho, our hardwood shutters are manufactured locally and are primary to withstand even the rooms filled with moisture. Both composite and hardwood shutters custom fit each window frame down to the 16th of an inch. With plantation shutters, your window coverings are built with precision and care, similarly to the other upgrades in your home. Now that you have a basic understanding of the difference between composite and hardwood shutters, I'm now going to get into the different options for these shutters. So the first option I've got here is the tilt system. So on the left side you can see here we have the, the tilt rod is directly in the center. It's the classic look uh, and it's how you operate the louvers. The hidden tilt rod is the one what you see on the right side. There's no rod in the center. It's very clean and all you have to do is tilt the louvers and that's how you tilt the whole system. The second option I want to go over right now is the louver size. The louver sizes come in two and a half, three and a half, and four and a half inches. Uh, left side you see here is a three and a half inch louver. The right side is four and a half inches. The larger the louver is, the more light is able to penetrate through when you open them up. The smaller it is, the less light because there's more material in the way. The next option I want to go over right now is the split tilt. Uh, on this right side is a perfect example of it. We have a split tilt, meaning you can tilt the top down, but leave the bottom one closed. People often go this route when they want to have their privacy, but still want the light in. So they open the top up, allowing light, light in, and they still have the privacy at the bottom. Another option, of course, are colors. Colors vary depending on the manufacturer you're going to use. Uh, some manufacturers actually will, will take your color that you choose, send it over to them, and they'll paint whatever color you have. So oftentimes people just simply want to match the trim work as well, and then they'll paint to that exact color. There are two quick notes I want to point out. Uh, the first one is your window height. If your window height exceeds a certain amount, then you may need a dividing rail in order to meet the demands of the weight of that plantation shutter. Because hardwood shutters are lighter than composite shutters, your max height for hardwood is greater than the max height for composite. The second note I want to point out is the width of your frame. If your width exceeds a certain amount, then you're probably going to need two panels rather than one. As you see here in this video, there are two window panels in the center frame. The reason being is because that center frame exceeded the width that's required for one panel, so we had to put two panels in there. Again, because hardwood shutters are lighter, the max width exceeds that of composite shutters. That pretty much sums it up about plantation shutters. If you have any questions at all or would like a free estimate, you can call us at the number below or you can check out our website at blindappeal.com and we'll get you taken care of. I'm Chris with Blind Appeal. Have a great day.